pleasure. I've been a fan of yours since Better Things, so. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Um, you know, the first question I have to ask is, when you first got this script, um, what was the moment in the when you realized you had to play this part, or this was like a movie you wanted to do? Oh my gosh. Well, I, I knew I wanted to do the film when I met Sean. Sean pitched me the idea for the movie and said, if you want to do this, I will write it for you. And so right then and there, I committed to working with Sean. I knew very little about who Annie would be, but I had a great sense that it would be something very special and something that I needed to do. And then when I finally read the script, I was blown away by this character and how complicated and interesting she was and all of the amazing things that I would get to learn to, to play her. When you finally got to see the movie, yeah, because uh, I assume it was a con, right? Yes, yeah. What was that feeling for like being able to finally step outside of the movie having acted in it for so long and finally get to see it? It's a strange feeling, I think, because there were so many emotions were building up. It was a film that I cared so much about and loved my character. And so I put a lot of, I had a lot of expectations in my head of what I wanted to do and a lot of concerns and worries too, like, did I mess up the movie? Like, am I gonna watch this and be disappointed in my portrayal? All of these things. And so I went into it feeling very anxious, but it was easier for me to take a step away from that and become an audience member because I didn't feel like I was watching myself, you know? Yeah, and you know, uh, you do an incredible job, because the movie does an incredible job, balancing very comedic moments, but also very serious moments, very sad moments. Um, and how was that for you? Like, what did you find that balance of being able to thread the needle between being, you guys have a good laugh, but you also know when to be serious? Right, yeah, I, I think it's, it's intuitive. I had a, I think a strong sense of Sean's sensibilities in terms of his humor and I knew the tone of his other films as well. And I think that Sean and I also share some kind of bizarre, dark sense of humor together. We laugh at the same things. And so I understood just internally what was needed and what was necessary. And I think that just my t intuition as an actor would tell me when those moments were necessary to like push something. Um, but I, I also think that Annie, Nothing is funny to Annie that's happening to her. It's very serious, it's, it's very heartbreaking. And so to find those moments in between, it's a delicate act, but I think that it's, again, just, it's just intuitive, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, now that, now that the movie's been out there, the reaction has been incredible. You guys won the Palm d'Or, congratulations on that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what do you hope that people take away from this movie? Like, what is the, mm. at the, at the end of the day, what do you hope audiences take away? You know, I've been asked this a few times, and I, I hope that audiences feel the love that we put into the making of this film. I hope that they have a good time at the movie theaters seeing it. Um, I hope that they come away with some kind of empathy towards characters that they originally didn't like, maybe. I don't know, I think I think it's, it can be left so open-ended and be interpreted in so many different ways. I hope that people just start conversations about it. That's a great answer. Well, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time. I absolutely love the movie. Oh, thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. It was so nice to meet you.